this is a public service announcement to let you know that people are watching you. This is a driver that I spotted at a truck stop. I'm not going to say where. And I, as you can plainly see, I have blotted out his face for his privacy. However, I took uh, pictures and video of this guy buying this case of beer. When I first walked into the truck stop after I fueled, I looked when he came from around the beer case. And I said, wait a minute, this guy looks familiar. I think he's parked next to me in the fuel aisle. And so I went back to look at the truck and then I uh, looked again and sure enough, it was him. So I took this picture as well as a little short video clip and I saw the name of the company on this truck. I called his company and of course he was terminated. What really got me was the fact that he was extremely comfortable not only buying beer but a case of beer and he was comfortable buying it at a truck stop in the daytime and just standing in line with it you know most people would have tried to hide it they would have parked all the way to the back of the truck stop uh, they would have waited until nightfall I mean anything no one would be this bold however he was and that told me he was very comfortable and he had been doing this for a long time of course I don't want him on the road with me I don't want him on the road with any of my nieces and nephews I don't have children but I do have nieces and nephews that I love very much relatives etc friends and I don't want him on the road drivers like him give us a bad name and and I, I told his safety director she said well uh, where is he now and I said well right now he's standing in the subway line I guess he needed a sandwich to wash down that beer uh, she pulled of course pulled his truck up saw that he was indeed there the images matched that particular driver that was assigned to that truck and of course he was terminated now I said all that to say this people are watching and we need to live our lives as if everything we do is being recorded because it is we also need to be given the opportunity to make a change that's why I did not put his face on here unfortunately we live in a era we live in a an era where we are not allowed to live down our mistakes the internet makes it impossible for us to do that long time ago when we made a mistake or we acted out of character we could live that down because everyone changes this driver may change one day I hope he does I'm not going to put his face up there because I believe in allowing him to change. And also for other drivers who are doing this, please stop because this could be you. Follow me for more trucking tips and be safe out there. What's good everybody and welcome back. To the Lockout Man Podcast Show tonight, we're gonna just jump right into it. I already made a video reaction of this particular TikToker, um, me and uh, Zippor had a back and forth about this young lady, and we definitely gave you know our heartfelt opinions on this situation right here. But as I went back to edit the video, it, it was it, it was a little bit, man, it, it was a little bit much. And I, I feel that our emotions at the time when we saw the video was high. So I figured I had to come back and probably redo it with a level head like I normally do with my reaction videos so shout out to my girl support for coming on and chopping it up with me about it fortunately we won't be able to you know include her synopsis in this particular reaction video but per her synopsis I would say that she was not a fan I can tell you that much. She was definitely not a fan, and she had some strong words of opinions on this young lady, some of which, again, that I couldn't play throughout 
uh, I couldn't play the video. So that's why I figured I would come back level headed, try to see from her side and see from everybody else's side. All right. Of course, we're talking about this young lady right here. And she goes by the name. I forgot her name on TikTok, but she is now the most hated TikToker trucker on that app right now, man. She made this video. This is a public service announcement to let you know that people are watching you. This is a driver that I spotted at a truck stop. I'm not going to say where. And I, as you can plainly see, I have blotted out his face for his privacy. However, I took uh, pictures and video of this guy buying this case of beer. Now, let me stop right here. Okay. This is the time of cameras everywhere. Everywhere. Everybody got a camera. Everybody wanted to, to, to break it out and put any and everything on video so they can upload it to social media. I just want to say this. Social media has turned everybody around in the world. There's nothing that nobody will want to put on video. Everything is up for grabs now on video. And they want to hurry up and get it up on the internet so that people could, so that they can get validation from the video. In this case, she saw this young man buying a case of beer, not knowing that, you know, if he was a truck driver or not, but she realized that he was a truck driver because he was parked next to her in the fuel island. When I first walked into the truck stop after I fueled, I looked when he came from around the beer case and I said, wait a minute, this guy looks familiar. I think he's parked next to me in the fuel island. And so I went back to look at the truck and then I uh, looked again and sure enough, it was him. So I took this picture as well as a little short video clip and I saw the name of the company on this truck. I called his company and of course he was terminated what really got me was so she called the company you know with her quote unquote concerns that you know one of your drivers is in the truck stop buying beer I just want to let you know that one of your truck drivers is in the truck stop buying beer. Now, I don't know if that's against company policy or anything like that, but I just want to let you know that one of your drivers is buying beer. And she said he got terminated. So she had to, you know, email the pictures the video or whatever evidence that she had at the time she had to get you know she had to upload it and email the company so they will know that they will have something because of course they can't call this man and say hey you know molly hallmaker here called up and said you did something wrong and we just you know we don't have no evidence on it but now that we got the evidence we're gonna have to let you go but again, as I said before, you know, when I was talking to Zippor, this is the silly season. This is the crazy time of the season. This is the time where, where people, where, where suicides is high. You called this man's company, in my opinion, being nosy. You had nothing to do with this young man buying beer or whatever the case he was doing. Now, it probably would have been different if he was in his truck drinking beer and then pulled off on the fuel line. And that gave you ammunition to call the company and say, hey, one of your drivers is drinking and driving. And then, boom, there you go. But this young man buying beer, you know, he probably might be taking it home. He was probably on his way home. He was probably off duty and 
You know, you can PC. You can use the truck as your personal vehicle. Now, of course, FMCSA says you you can't have beer in the cab, whether it's open and or closed. But suppose this dude was off and you called this company being nosy because you felt that he was too comfortable buying beer. It's the fact that he was extremely comfortable not only buying beer, but a case of beer. And he was comfortable buying it at a truck stop in the daytime and just standing in line with it. How do you know that that's beer? Keystone? It might not be beer. I'm playing. I'm playing. Key, Keystone Light is beer. You know, most people would have tried to hide it. They would have parked all the way to the back of the truck stop. Uh, they would have waited until nightfall. I mean, anything. No one would be this bold. However, he was. And that told me he was very comfortable and he had been doing this for a long time. Of course, I don't want him on the road with me. I don't want him on the road with any of my nieces and nephews. I don't have children, but I do have nieces and nephews that I love very much. Right. You know, lady, uh, you know, I, I did send out a request to, 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 to have a conversation with you. And the, and the request is still open to you because I, I really want to know, you know, I, I want to know the mind set that you had at that time that you felt the need to call this man's company and let them know that he had a case of beer that he was buying from the truck stop now you say you don't want this man on the road but you know how many dangerous people that's on the road right now you just don't know what type of mindset that these drivers are in this dude could go postal at any time and now that you got your 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 face and your TikTok, this video is being shared, including on my platform. All, all I gotta say is that a, a lot of truck drivers that commented in your comments, a lot of them is vicious. I mean. I advocate safety all the time for you ladies out here. I really do. But you made a video, put it on a public app for validation, but you got a whole bunch of backlash now. Relatives, etc., friends, and I don't want them on the road. Drivers like him give us a bad name. No, 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 sweetheart. Drivers like you give us a bad name. Now, I understand you want to be the, the, the Molly Hall maker of, of trucking, but trying to be the Molly Hall maker of trucking in these times, sometimes it's just best not to put it on the internet. Now, if you really, really, really wanted to do something, you would have just not put this shit on the internet. You would have gave the company the information, passed it on, the company would have hold, you know, would have took care of it, and then it would have just been it. What was the point of you putting this video out there and you thinking that no backlash was going to come to you? You already said that you got threats. You got drivers coming after you. This is a small world, little lady. Somebody could see you in a truck stop and... Man, listen. And, and I, I told his safety director... She said, well, uh, where is he now? And I said, well, right now he's standing in the subway line. I guess he needed a sandwich to wash down that beer. Uh, mm. She pulled, of course, pulled his truck up, saw that he was indeed there, 
the images matched that particular driver that was assigned to that truck and of course he was terminated now I said all that to say this people are watching and we need to live our lives as if everything we do is being recorded there you go <laughs> you sound you, you sounding so like a hypocrite right now man you sounding like a true hypocrite over here talking about well you gotta you gotta do things as if you're being recorded well there you have it because when somebody sees you in a truck stop you best believe they're going to be recording your butt you best believe somebody going to have a camera on you and i'm kind of hoping that they do have a camera on you just in case now again, I, I I am a whole advocate of female safety, female trucker safety, but unfortunately you put yourself in a situation. A terrible, terrible, terrible situation. And I'm just hoping for anybody out there that feels that they see something wrong see a driver driving erratic see see a driver doing things that he's not supposed to be doing make that call anonymous you don't need to put it on social media for validation because it's going to blow up in your face because it is we also need to be given the opportunity to make a change that's why i did not put his face on here unfortunately we live in a area we live in a an era where we are not allowed to live down our mistakes the internet makes it impossible for us to do that long time ago when we made a mistake or we acted out of character we could live that down because everyone changes this driver may change one day i hope he does i'm not going to put his face up there because i believe in allowing him to change and also for other drivers who are doing this please stop because this could be you oh man well look drivers you you guys already see that there's molly hall makers out here there's karen's out here you know what i'm saying and just know that any any step of the way you could be upload it and record it and put out there on the internet just like this young lady did to this driver right here which i feel in my humble opinion i mean if you was gonna if if, if you was gonna report this driver i feel that you should have just reported him anonymously and let the company handle it from there you did not need to put this information that you did on the internet because it's going to backfire, which it already did. It already did. You, you are now the most hated TikTok female driver on that app right now. And TikTok be getting people messed up, man. <laughs> I'm saying. People get, that's why I don't mess with it. Like, like I don't put, I don't do content for, for TikTok anymore. I, I don't like the app. Number one is getting way too saturated with drivers that just upload and put any and everything that they feel like on there. I mean, we have, we have this one lady female driver that quote unquote advocates for safety but yet you know she just feels like she gotta put her two cents in every little thing you know i thought she was the most hated but after what you did oh man you just went on top of the list so no i i'm not a fan of tiktok i i just take i'm a youtuber <laughs> what i do i just take my youtube clips and put it on tiktok that's it that's it i don't talk on tiktok i don't do no content for tiktok i don't do none of that i'm not a fan of the app i'm just not and for you to for for you to do this for for 
TikTok validation, TikTok clout? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just, look, just hope that you stay safe out there. I really and truly hope that nothing happens to you. Because this, like you found this driver right here. Don't forget, he's a driver. And in the world of trucking, this is a small world. So you just might run back into this gentleman. And that confrontation might not be pleasant. Just saying. So just watch yourself. Make sure you might want to you might want to carry carry a little bit more protection on you now. You know, I, I mean, I know a lot of companies don't allow uh, weapons on their trucks, but in your case, after what you did, you might just need to watch your back. I'm just saying. Because what you did, I mean, in your mind, it was all right. It was cool. But what you did, you 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 should have did that anonymous. You shouldn't have you shouldn't have put it out there. You know, you call yourself trying to keep his identity cool and all like that. That's why you didn't want to put his name. You didn't want to put his face and all like that. And you felt he was comfortable, but your face and you're comfortable and you're comfortable on that app talking about it. Let me just say this before I get up out of here. It may not be him. It's always associates. You you just might want to just be careful what you put out on the Internet. Because it might just come back and bite you in the ass. Now, I'm not asking everybody to like this video because this video is really not to be liked. I just want everybody to, to, to watch this video. And if you do see us out there doing anything that's out of the ordinary and you feel as though that you want to call the company and let that company know, I would suggest you guys do it anonymously so that there won't be no blowback on you. I'm out.